On the edge of Central Park, near some of Manhattan's most expensive shops, tourists from abroad say they've come to New York not only to see the sights. The lower dollar is making goods far cheaper to buy here than at home. Yesterday we went to buy clothes, some clothes in Central um, in Times Square, and uh, we found out that uh, the, um, the shoes were like very cheap here. <laughs> dollar is quite cheap. Thai baht is quite strong right now, so I think. Uh, we feel that we spend less. Yeah, you're talking at the moment about between uh, a third off to half of the price of what we pay in England. Some tourists are here to buy more than what they can carry home in their suitcases. This French couple just bought an apartment in New York. It's a dream and we can't afford now to realize that dream. Their realtor, Bonnie Brown of Caldwell Banker, says that foreign buyers are snapping up New York real estate. They will send over the deposit and have the attorney drop the contract sight unseen. They literally buy apartments on the internet. Another result of the dollar's lower value, some New York City businesses have begun to accept euros in payment. Billy Leroy operates Billy's Antiques and Props downtown. I started taking euros in November of 07. And the reason I took the Euros is because I went to Paris on an antique buying trip and I was so frustrated when I came back that I decided to put this sign up. Why were you frustrated? Well, the, uh, they wouldn't take my dollars. I used to pay in dollars. And uh, the Euro was at 146 about at that time. And uh, it was just, I couldn't buy anything. Leroy says he has gotten some angry reactions, even though it's legal to accept non-U.S. currency. Oh, I've gotten hate mail. And uh, I've gotten emails saying, uh, why don't you go back to France, because I'm half French, and eat your cheese. It's un-American what you're doing. And I wrote back, on the contrary, it's very American. I'm adapting to a bad situation. City Comptroller William Thompson agrees. He says foreign tourism and investment have helped New York maintain record budget surpluses in the last few years. It has an impact. Uh, you know, and as I said, right now, if a weaker, if a weaker dollar is helping, I mean, is it, it, in the long run, it's not good for the country. In the short term, right now, it's good for New York City. So, you know, people taking the euro, um, anything to be able to get additional dollars into the economy, that's fine. Foreign investment is especially welcome now, he says, with job cuts looming on Wall Street, which accounts for 35 percent of wages earned in New York. Economists note that bargain shoppers from other countries also help to remedy the U.S. trade deficit because their purchases are counted as American exports. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.